It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Raiders and the Lions, and it comes your way next. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Detroit Lions. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, these Detroit Lions, they won over a lot of people with the way they played under Dan Campbell last year. They started one and six, found their stride, won eight of their last 10 games, and nearly got into the playoffs. And when you think back to how they almost got in, that final Sunday night going to Lambeau Field and beating the Packers, that tells you about the culture that's already been established there. All you need now is to watch this team continue to play. They're going to contend, I believe, in this season. And then for the Raiders, this is a tough team to figure out. They stumbled home to a 6-11 finish last year. But you say if they want to turn things around, it has to start on the defensive end. It certainly does. And while they've had some dynamic pass rushers along the way, they've needed more. They've added them now in free agency and the draft, as well as some new faces on the back end to help shut down people throwing the football. Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And we are underway from Ford Field. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders is shaken up on that one. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. Throwing on third, golf. is going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. DeAndre Carter back deep. That's taken on the 25. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023. The former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. It's another typical season for Jimmy G last year. When he was out there, he was excellent. Leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interception. Then the injury bug bit again. The Las Vegas... They're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. It's Garoppolo. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. 
He used to have a coach who used to tell us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use up paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. Back to the air on second. It's Garoppolo. Throw out wide is incomplete. Looking for Michael Mayer on the play. And it'll bring up third down. deep for Adams this is caught inside the 15 and he will score touchdown Las Vegas Devontae Adams 53 yards and the Raiders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that <laughs> at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us to rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> First and ten, line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. St. Brown motioning left. Uh, he's going to get it on the jet sweep. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Play action, it's gone. That pass caught, it's Williams. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 26. That's good for 28 yards. Second and short, that's a run down, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 26-yard line. Off play action. Here's Goff. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Just need a yard here. Second and one. On the carry, it's Montgomery. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Out of the gun. Goff. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. 
Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Now a second and ten. Toss left to Montgomery. There's... And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are an extra point away from evening this one up. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. You always worry about those small receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protecting himself as best he could while completing the play. On first down, Garoppolo. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass, but it's equally important to know when to throw the football away too. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, you've got a receiver here. He's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys. Already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. Trouble and he's taken down. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here. So it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And here's...
here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job. And Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie. Defense does its job, gets the ball right back. And their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now a play fake, and it's gone. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now it's gone. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, the that's thing. true. got to stay with it. That's true. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. They work now on second and nine. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and four. On play action, now Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're getting the football back again. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Fielded just inside the 20. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. On second down, here's Goff. Throw over the middle, he finds Williams. And that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now golf. 
He's got right on the short throw. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Second down and four. Gone. Oh, a short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 42. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 42-yard line. Montgomery back to the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. This is second and eight. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. To throw is gone. Well, this is caught by Williams. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 28. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football as they go to work on a first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Montgomery is into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, it almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Patterson now for the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. this one away this fielded right at the goal line 
And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Raiders now set to get the football back. That 7 nothing lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. To throw, it's Garoppolo. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. They'll give him four yards there. And third and eight now. And another thing that makes a comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Josh Jacobs, 54 yards. And the Raiders are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Carlson on for the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. A drive there of just four plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good return for the guy. And you know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now. And they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't want you just play. You know? I'm not good enough to play Stop the fantasy it. game. Stop it. I enjoy watching you're an analyst. You do it. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ in my book. So quickly, all the way up at the 40 yard line. Here's the 12th overall pick in April's draft, Jameer Gibbs. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 16 more on that one and another first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Another run for Gibbs here. Designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. I'm not sure you can be more efficient on offense than to have three downs and have them all turn into first downs. And defensively, you've got to figure out how to slow them down. Some guys might bring more pressure. Some guys might be a little more exotic. And as a last resort, 
you might even call timeout and try and regroup. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Goff now looking to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Throwing on third, golf. And a throw there going to be incomplete. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage, and now it's fourth. On fourth down, Goff to the sidelines, and Detroit has Riley Patterson out there for the field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. Patterson's kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. team on the field now as they will send this one away from his end zone here comes Carter and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18 now the Vegas offense heading back out there and Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 18 He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 70 yards on the ground here for Jacobs. So this is a first down. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game. And for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own. But oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But Michael Mayer, his intended receiver, and now it's second down. Now Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And they will take over first and 10. David Montgomery and the Lions about set to begin this next series. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here.
They'll come up now second and four from the 31. A shotgun snap for Goff. That is caught by LaPorta. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route will run, and the football right on the money. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Goff now looks to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Here's second and 10. Here's Goff. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. To the air again, Goff. Work in the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Now a second and six. Golf. And that's going to be incomplete. And here, you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. This offense so far on third down, they've hit four of seven. This will be third and six. Here's Goff. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Jamison Williams hauling that one in for Jared Goff as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. DeAndre Carter returning it. Now a hit and a loose football. So a 
teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. A ball on the 32. It's second and two. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. Incomplete. Michael Mayer, his intended receiver, and it's third down and two. Trying to run for it with Jacobs, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now second and nine. Garoppolo now. And his throw is incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about the defender running with the receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it, in this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. On first down, gone. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So they will wave off the flag and let the completion stand. Really great job by the receiver fighting through all the contact and still coming down with the football. All that great work and practice being put into the game. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Here now, second and four. From the gun, here's gone. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. McGough and Williams hooking up there for a Lions first. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Throwing on first down, but 
this one lines up to be incomplete. One thing you have to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again is golf. Open man right side is Shane Brown. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Here is third and five. Out of the gun, golf. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now it's Goff. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, <laughs> but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. <laughs> cold-blooded. <laughs> It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Now Goff on third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff to Alvin Ross St. Brown. And the Lions will extend their lead here just before halftime. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Extra point try now for Patterson. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, it was David Montgomery who proved to be tough to stop. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Here's Carter now on the return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. From the 29, here's second down and three. On play action, it's Garoppolo. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And now two yards to go on third down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And unable to connect. If he had caught him, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on for the fifth time here today. No return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. A 41-yard punt there with no return. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Goff and this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Quick throw complete to Reynolds. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Gaw. Over the middle and taken in by Laporta. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10, Goff. That's complete to the Porta. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and two. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. This will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. Second down and three. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Look off to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Slam. And he's going to get a 
solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Goff now to throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Back at the 17. A yard in the wrong direction. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. And that's a great job of tackling right there. If he could have made the first man miss, maybe he could have taken it into the end zone. Instead, they stopped him pretty well right in his tracks. And you often see that in the red zone. Offense has to be quick. In this case, the defense was quicker. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And off comes to Montgomery. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. David Montgomery taking it in from seven yards away. And the Lions are able to stretch out their lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Patterson now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. Here's Carter now on the return. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Las Vegas' offense back out there ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, here's Garoppolo. On the out route, this is Adams with a catch. Two yards on the pickup there. And now third down and six to go. Garoppolo looks 
looks to throw. And that is incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Here's A.J. Cole now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And take it right on the 30. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there. And boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. Montgomery with a good game there, and he broke 800 yards for the Bears' NFL best ground game last season. Divisional rival Detroit took notice and brought him in to boost their growing offense. That's into the hands of Reynolds. Brought down, but after we saw a flashy little move, stopped short of the 40. From the 42-yard line, here's second and three. Now fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And this won't be enough to pick up the first, a gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Here's Goff. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now gone. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. And this is what it's been like all game long. Guys running free in the middle of the field. This defense has just had no answer for this passing game. And that's another good hook up there. A give. This is Montgomery. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They've been running it well all game, and why not? The big guys up front, they're just having a ball, creating monster holes for their guys to run through. Two yards to go, second down. Throw left side, caught by LaPorta. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. Goff now looks to throw. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. From the gun, here's Goff. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, 
we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. now as they line up and kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw there complete to Myers. They only get five out of that quick slam, but that's good enough for a first. Garoppolo. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second and six. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Oh, the slant connects with Devontae Adams. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 42. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first down, Garoppolo. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Second and ten. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. There's Charles Harris getting home for the sack. Well, I wish the staff luck as they try to find positives about this performance by their offense as we move through the early part of the fourth quarter. That sack, the latest example. Down by a boatload, this offense simply can't keep up, and the quarterback is still taking hits. I'd get the backups in there if it were me. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. Let's this go for Renfro downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Fourth down, and they take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise, but how about the coverage they're able to bat it down? Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And they nearly 
sprung him that time as he takes us all the way down to the 37. 141 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. Brendan, every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission. Right. And then you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Goff. Throw over the middle, he finds Williams. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start and pass plays like we just saw. They're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way. And plays like that across all phases of the game, They've just been effortless for them in this one. And that's what's helped them build such a large lead and allowed them to smile as this game continues. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference to see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier, and he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Here's Carter now on the return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing now is Garoppolo. He'll swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Out of bounds at the 44 yard line. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Second down and a yard. There's Garoppolo to throw. Throw caught by Mayer. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down.
Garoppolo again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Adams. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. On play action, now Garoppolo. Same target, it's Jacobs again. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Brandon, a lot of times you'll see running backs rotate in and out of the game, whether it's completed pass, a good run, it doesn't matter. Here, not only does he stay in, but they go right back to him, and he makes another nice play. Back-to-back -back catches. Play action, Garoppolo. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Touchdown, Raiders! Devontae Adams! with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points, but he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple more times to give them a chance. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. But Jamison Williams out onto the field as his guys take over on offense. When you're in a zone like he is, what's the conversation like on the sideline between he and his quarterback? Is that a one-way conversation of, hey, just keep getting me the football? It actually is probably a two-way conversation because he wants to keep getting him the football because he's seen the payoff. You know, getting the ball to that guy means yardage and as we've seen touchdowns in this game so I think both of them get more and more excited about the possibilities as things continue on yeah so far it's been over 100 yards and the two scores from all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive a give to Montgomery out of the gun and he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. From the 43, here's second and five. Montgomery on the counter. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Goff wants to throw on third and one. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. 
When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, take, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Now a run with Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Back to Montgomery on second down. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. A shotgun snap for Goff. That is caught. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The defense has been on the field a long time now, and after a run like that, they've got to feel like they're almost on roller skates and getting pushed backwards on just about every snap. Second and a couple. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Seven yards there and a first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field.